Thank you for tuning in to the Wendy Inspire channel and for joining our happy BME village where everyone belongs. So no matter who you are, how you are, or what you are, you're safe here with us here in our happy BME village. to you thank you for tuning in I wanted to give you an update on my modesty kick so about mm, a little bit over a year ago I started to adopt um, modesty and the first book well, let me rewind the tape so first I started to become closer to God and I truly believe that um, it's important that we honor God with our body and some of the things that I used to wear I was getting attention that I didn't want and I know that we are not responsible for what someone else chooses to think about us, if they choose to lust for us, if they choose to feel different emotions for us, it's not our responsibility. With that said, I feel like certain attire can provoke different emotions from other people. So because I really didn't like getting that attention, um, I didn't like walking past somebody and then they're going like this, um, I didn't really feel good when a um, man was with his wife or his girlfriend and then they would look back at me. It didn't make me feel good. So I said, what can I do about the situation? Yes, I can continue to wear exactly what I want to wear and say, you know what, that's on them. They shouldn't be doing it. Or I can say, you know what, is it really necessary for me to wear this? So as I got closer to God, I said, does what I'm wearing reflect who I am. Number one, does what I'm wearing honor God with my body? Number two, and some of the things that I was wearing, in my opinion, didn't give God the glory. So when people would see me or have different conversations with me, sometimes they would be distracted with the outward instead of really listening to what I was saying. So I made my own personal decision without the influence of anybody else outside of the Holy Spirit, of course, but I made my own decision outside of anyone else and said, you know what, when I look in the mirror, I don't feel like I'm truly honoring God with my body. When I look in the mirror, I don't truly feel that I'm showing all of Wendy. I'm sorry, I don't feel like I'm showing all of God, but I feel like I'm showing more of Wendy. And as I started to get closer to God, I didn't want to be up front and in the center. I wanted God to be up front and in the center. So I wanted when people to see me that they wouldn't be distracted with the outward, but they would see the God in me. And I would say, at first I started to wear like dresses like all the way down to the ground, which I still absolutely love. And then kind of like a little bit baggy sweaters. And then I started to kind of incorporate other styles, other colors, um, different textures. And so far, so good. I have never, ever since I started to adopt um, a modesty apparel, I have never once wanted to go back. I've never said, you know what, I miss wearing this or I miss doing that. I said, you know what, I really like this. I really love to be a little bit more concealed. I love to be a little bit more conservative. And I really feel that, you know, first I belong to God and then I belong to my husband. And it kind of made me feel like, I had something special that the special thing that I had, everybody doesn't have to know about it. And if everybody sees everything that I have, it almost, in my opinion, takes away from that special thing that I have for my husband. So as I started to get closer to God, I started to wanting to um, wear less revealing clothing. And of course you can't hide everything, and I'm not saying go out and hide it, but I would say find out what modesty means to you. 
Everybody has their own opinion of modesty, but I truly believe with all my heart is we are supposed to honor God with our body. And the way you honor God with your body might be completely different from how I honor God with my body, but I feel like it is important to um, be a little bit more conservative or um, to wear less revealing clothes. And since I've done that, I've been feeling better about myself. And I've also been getting, um, I would say, the interactions are more about either God or just life or, you know, hobbies. It's less about, oh, my, you look good or, oh, this or, oh, that. And I still get that sometimes, but I do get it less. And a part of my modesty journey is I am going to start to make my own clothes. So I'm so excited about that. In a couple weeks, I'm going to buy a sewing machine and I'm going to make my own clothes. And I'm really excited about it because I feel like at this point in my life, I'm just doing what makes me happy. And I want to wear clothes that no one else has. So the only way to do that is to buy my own fabric, my own material, and make it myself. So that is another step of embracing modesty, you know, making my own style. I've been buying dresses and it seems that um, it costs almost the same amount of the dress, if not more, just to have it hem. So I figured, let me buy a sewing machine, let me have some fun with some different patterns and and also if you have a sewing machine or if you sew your own clothes leave that in the, in the comment section below if you're embracing the whole modesty life lifestyle leave that in the comment section below or if you have a different opinion of what modesty means leave that in the comment section below here in the happy vme village everybody's opinion matters everyone belongs again my definition of modesty might be completely different from yours we're all completely different we all have a different walk but for me, ever since I've done it, I've been happier. I've been more balanced. Um, I spend less attention on how I look on the outside and more attention on how I look on the inside. Now that doesn't mean I just roll out of bed and, and don't, you know, get a shower and, or do my hair or, you know, make myself look presentable to me. But it just means that I spend less time in the morning getting ready. I mean, it used to take me up to three hours to get ready to leave my house in the morning. And I had to wear the right type of pants or the right type of skirt or the right shirt and specific layers of makeup and, you know, a mascara. And it would take me hours to do my hair. And then I had to lay my hair. And it was so much that went into putting me together. And now I get a shower. I put on a little bit of makeup if I want to. Throw on something really comfy and casual. And I go. And I'm happy and I'm free. So, again, um... Just wanted to give you an update on my modesty journey. It's been over a year now. I have no desire to go back. Um, if anything, it's making me more and more happy. And if anything, it's making me want to take the journey even further and find out what else I can, you know, tone down or how can I be um, even more conservative? How can I uh, honor God with my body at an even greater level? Uh, and so far, so good. So just wanted to give you guys an update I'm gonna leave my first, second, or I have like maybe three modesty videos, so I'm gonna leave them in uh, this, the description field. You can check them out. Give me some feedback. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And as you know, if you have not already done so, be sure to subscribe to my subscribers out there, to my happy VME villagers, to my friends, to my family. Thank you so much for sticking with me. It's truly been an exciting journey from when I started the channel. Um, over a year ago up until now just kind of just getting out there and making our own lane that we don't have to do everything that people are doing we don't have to do what's trending we don't have to do what's popular when it comes to making your own YouTube channel you do what's on your heart and then the right people are going to come so to you new YouTubers out there who are just starting your channel um, and been on the scene for a couple weeks or a couple months I also encourage you that it's not always about you know doing what everybody else is doing or trying to get the most subs or the most likes and all that and yes we do like likes and we like subs and we like comments but not to the extent that we're going to do something that we don't agree with or we don't stand by so i believe that the best youtube channel is the channel that comes straight from your heart and again thank you so much for tuning in to the wendy inspired channel and for joining our happy vme village where everyone belongs